My name's Jamie King. I'm director and producer of the Steal This Film series, which I distributed using pirate networks to reach six million plus people. Um, and also used a donate early crowdfunding donation system to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations. I went on to found the Vodo platform, which used a similar idea to promote filmmakers' work using peer-to-peer -peer networks um, from the Pirate Bay to BitTorrent Inc. And we've been successful in raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for creators uh, using that method. So essentially our idea is that peer-to-peer -peer sharing, file sharing, can be a positive for people who are creating content. The idea is that if your work is being shared, that's probably could be adding value to what you do rather than subtracting it. I think one of the most interesting frontiers in piracy right now is that taking place in the new over-the-top boxes. Um, so running on Android hardware, cheap generic hardware, you see services like Kodi, which while not pirate services themselves, can be used to install third-party plugins that link together all kinds of uh, f feeds available around the internet of TV shows, movies, etc., that can then provide a pretty seamless experience for uh, the viewer at home. I think that one of the things that's particularly interesting to look at in those over-the-top experiences is the ease of use for the consumer. And I think that ease of use um, and that polish with the UX represents a, with the user experience represents a real step forward in piracy. In that previously piracy was associated with something that nerds did, something that was hard to do, something that most people couldn't get figured out maybe. And now with experiences like Popcorn Time and experiences like these over the top uh, third party plugins for Kodi, etc., uh, we're seeing a level of polish combined with access to the uh, media, access to content, which is really unparalleled amongst legitimate offerings. And I think broadcasters should really be watching very carefully a space where innovation in terms of user experience and user satisfaction is outpacing that in the traditional uh, broadcast experience and broadcast industry. So I think one of the remaining core reasons that consumers will engage in piracy is to find content that is unavailable in legitimate networks. So if they can't find what they're looking for on Netflix, if they can't find what they, they want on Spotify, they will go and kind of hoover up the remaining content on pirate networks. And I think one of the moves we have to make as an industry is towards some type of copyright armistice. So realizing that keeping rights siloed in specific networks with specific deals is not palatable to consumers in the sense that if you want them to behave in a reasonable way, you have to provide them with a reasonable selection of content. And if you're going to keep things in a specific silo, whether it's, you know, HBO Go or Netflix or Hulu, you have to realize that they're going to stray outside your silo and into um, pirate networks to get whatever it is you're not providing. And I think more and more we're going to have to look at some type of situation where content is made available in different means, by different means and at different price points to consumers around the world in a way that looks fair to them. Uh, and I think the more that can be done, the less they will stray outside the city walls, stray outside the confines of whatever silo uh, you've put them in and stay, you know, stay with you. Um, the second thing is, I think, related to this idea of pirates providing providing great uh, UX experiences. Where I think 
we really need to look at the level of ease that we see with people like Popcorn Time um, and how simple they've made it for customers, for consumers to access content and try to replicate that in legitimate offerings. Too often what I'm seeing is that in the legitimate offerings, whether it's, you know, uh, terrestrial, whether it's uh, cable TV in the UK, uh, BT TV, the um, US TV services, the interfaces are really difficult to use. Um, uh, and, and it's no surprise that people would want to use a simple interface like Popcorn Time to get access to all the content they want. So I think first, provide more content, provide access to a greater amount of content, and do this via rethinking the kinds of siloed, uh, geo, geo-locked deals we're doing right now. Make sure the content is available to people. And second, make sure that the way they get to access it is beautiful and pleasant for them and easy. And I think if you do those two things, far fewer people will be interested in straying outside the silos to look for pirated stuff.